Namaskar. I express my gratitude to the Indian Mission for hosting the talk to commemorate the 154th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi on Gandhi Jayanti. The world is celebrating the UN International Day of Nonviolence on 2nd October and remembering Mahatma Gandhi, the apostle of peace and nonviolence. We have an opportunity to remind the humanity of the efficacy of the messages and the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi in the crisis driven world looking for peace. Gandhiji's transformational leadership and the power of peace, nonviolence, and living in harmony with nature showed by him is capable of shaking the souls of human beings to bring about a transformation in their lives by cutting through the boundaries of international borders, space and time. He is the leader with global visibility and the world judges us by his standards. Nowadays, our world has become so interdependent that any conflict between nations inevitably impacts the rest of the world. The only way for establishing peace in the world is through nonviolence. We need to develop a sense of solidarity amongst us by considering other human beings as our brothers and sisters. This is the only way to establish a more peaceful world. Gandhiji stood for the right to freedom, right to dignity and equality, and the right to freedom from bondage, poverty, untouchability, and discrimination. All these are a sense of human rights. Mahatma Gandhi had said, and I quote, when I despair, I remember that all through history, the ways of truth and love have always won. There have been tyrants and murderers, and for a time they can seem invincible. But in the end, they always fall. Think of it always, unquote. Gandhian ideas and ideals are very much relevant in the modern era, and it offers solutions to the present day pressing crisis like inequality, social instability, widespread disturbances, concentration of economic and political power in the hands of a few, and violence ridden societies. Guidance from Gandhiji's thought and experience would help in paving the way to finding solutions of these problems in a peaceful manner. It has been said that there is scarcely an individual on this earth whose life has not been touched in some way or the other by the life and messages of Mahatma Gandhi. This is because no other public or political leader of our era so clearly understood, so confidently welcomed the implication of the age that we live in. It was Mahatma Gandhi who offered the prospect of reform without annihilation. He saw the inherent dignity of the human being, no matter how humble, poor and downtrodden, as the key to ordinary political and social progress. Gandhiji practically applied the universal truth and nonviolence to new situations which helped in shaping the history of our times and in moving all of humanity towards a more rational existence. For 50 years, he carried the torch for the oppressed peoples of all nations, all races and all creeds. He did this firstly by undertaking nonviolent civil disobedience against the colonial regime. Secondly, the revolution for human dignity and thirdly, the revolution for peace. Gandhiji endeavored for spiritualization of politics by raising it to a higher level and to put into practice by making them part of everyday life. His legacy is of faith, courage and determination to serve people by following the path of dharma or the right conduct. Gandhiji said and I quote, the whole gamut of man's activities today constitutes an indivisible whole. You cannot divide life, social, economic, political, and purely religious into watertight compartments. I do not know of any religion apart from human activity. It provides a moral basis for all other activities which they would otherwise lack, reducing life to a maze of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Any activity which fails to conform to the moral law would not only defeat its own real purpose, but harm humanity. Some friends have told me that truth and nonviolence have no place in politics and worldly affairs. I do not agree. I have no use for these as a means of individual salvation. That economics is untrue, which ignores or disregards moral values. As a matter of fact, there is no such thing 
as an individual in isolation. Unquote. Gandhi ji conceives of man as a social individual. His individuality comes out best when he works for social ends. He had said, and I quote, I am endeavoring to see God through the service of humanity, for I know that God is neither in heaven nor down below, but in every heart. Unquote. Gandhiji's life story is about action. To bring about positive changes, he both succeeded and failed in what he sought to do. But he always moved forward, and he never gave up the quest for improvement, both social and spiritual, and both for individuals and for the nation as a whole. Today, Gandhiji is remembered not only as a political leader, but as a moralist who appealed to the universal conscience of mankind. He changed the world and the impact is seen by the world leaders who were inspired by him, ranging from Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Madiba Nelson Mandela, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, Father Kunz, George Bernard Shaw, Caesar Chavez, Oscar Arias Sanchez, Tabakul Karman, and there is a galaxy of men and women and children in different parts of the world who have taken a leap from Gandhiji to fashion their initiatives for ensuring peace, justice, and fighting against discrimination. Mahatma Gandhi was a multifaceted personality. His simplicity of life and his single-minded quest for truth and non-violence concealed innumerable streams of ideas, disciplines, devotions, and aspirations. Gandhiji was a saint and a revolutionary a politician and a reformer, an economist and a spiritual person, a moral and a perfectionist, an educationist, a satyagrahi devoted to faith and reason, a man of action and a remarkable visionary. He was an excellent negotiator, a reconciler and a peacemaker who worked to bring about a compromise in all the situations he faced. Gandhiji loved everyone deeply and accepted wholeheartedly that truth can reside in opposites as well. What is Mahatma Gandhi's contribution to the world? To change society, the world has so far known two paths. The name of one is fear and the other is greed. Gandhiji gave a third option where there is neither fear nor temptation, but it can still change the world through love, compassion and tolerance. This he could do because he grasped all that was best from the past, brought it to the present and gave us the taste of new seeds. Though he established a third option for the world, but he did not create a new one. Gandhiji maintained that there is a need to destroy tyranny and no need to eliminate the tyrant or the oppressor. This was the new incentive that he gave for change and called it Satyagraha or non-violent civil disobedience. Gandhiji's second contribution was to create a society which was a face-to-face -face society, a place where people know each other for which he suggested decentralization. He also said that we must look at a problem holistically and not in parts. And that is why for serving the poor and the downtrodden, he was able to look at issues combining economic, social and political spheres through constructive programs. And the third contribution was what we consider as individual qualities spread in society as values and only then is their worth recognized. This is the reason why he framed the 11 observances or the Ekadashivrata as a practice in his ashrams to increase the inner strength of the inmates and the practitioners of nonviolent revolution. Are leaders born or through transformation, every human being can be a leader and has the potential to be a leader, to earn people's respect, to get them to love you, to sacrifice for you is a tall order. For this, a strong base of spiritual values is absolutely necessary, as it is the spirit that gives power. Our ancient scripture, Atharvaveda, tells us that one who earns leadership of people by working ceaselessly for their welfare, finally realizes that he or she has been rewarded with many added advantages. A leader must be established in higher values and be able to communicate her or his vision to the people through their conduct. A leader must have an impeccable character and be above reproach. He or she must be dedicated to the welfare of the people and not be driven by self-interest. And this is what we see in Gandhiji's moral and ethical leadership, in his goodness and in his love for humanity. These transformations brought in him a new life force, imbued his character with the light uniquely his and altered his mind 
character and the worldview in a manner that was unprecedented, giving unimaginable strength to his associates and co-workers. This sadhana or the endeavor of discipline and dedicated practice of 20 years in South Africa gave humankind a new philosophy of life in the form of Satyagraha. This was a new path for human race that was groping in darkness. His endeavor of discipline and dedicated practice was the result of constant self-examination, experimentation and evaluation. His conscience had altered. He had left behind the path of self-gratification and during those two decades in South Africa and later in India, he stayed on that path. He bore all the ups and downs, the obstacles and the changing circumstances with a smile. Not only that, but he also enabled the people around him to recover after a fall and a tumble. He gave them repose and made sure that they could walk the same path. His lifestyle also underwent many changes during these years. Besides truth and non-violence, Satyagraha requires strict discipline. As part of the transformation, Gandhiji purged himself of impurities, just as gold is purified by heating on low flame. He did hard physical labor for hours together and invested his mental energies on tasks on hand. There were three broad reasons for transforming himself. Gandhiji realized that actual conduct is far superior to preaching about conduct. His experiments were not self-serving and all his efforts combined the desire for self-purification and social transformation. He is widely recognized as one of the 20th century's greatest political and spiritual leaders. Few men have ever had as much of an impact on our world as Mahatma Gandhi did. He was very much a product of his time, yet one of his greatest source of inspiration was the Bhagavad Gita, the sacred Indian scripture. While leading nationwide campaigns to ease poverty, expand women's rights, build religious and ethnic harmony, and eliminate the injustices of the caste system, Gandhiji supremely applied the principles of nonviolent civil disobedience, playing a key role in freeing India from foreign domination. He was often imprisoned for his actions as many as for 17 times, for approximately six and a half years. But he accomplished his aim in 1947, when India gained its independence from the British colonial regime. After that, around 125 countries gained independence from the colonial regimes. This is the worldwide impact of Mahatma Gandhi and his methods. Gandhiji's greatest leadership trait was his dream and his ability to visualize freedom for the enslaved India with a lifelong focus on to make India into self-reliant nation economically and socially. Till the end of his life, Gandhiji worked, mobilized, wrote and spoke about the goals of freedom, inclusion, harmony, diversity and empowerment. Gandhiji aligned most of the social movements he led around these goals. His most well-known leadership trait was his willingness to live like most people that he sought to help and his exhortation that all be the change they wish to see in the world. His ability brought him the credibility, trust and intellectual understanding needed to lead civil disobedience movements. Mahatma Gandhi is a very efficient leader who not only transformed himself but also transformed the world and his followers. That is the trait of the transformational leader who not only transforms himself but transforms his colleagues, fellow workers and followers and leads them to a better condition from where they find themselves to be in. A very strong sense of self-respect marked Gandhiji's character from a very early age. He taught that it was not a miracle to be able to transform oneself at all. Each one of his actions were well thought out and necessary. A well thought out response geared towards changing a people and nation always leads any organization towards a better future to survive, evolve, grow and to prosper. What made Gandhiji a great leader? If we consider his achievements, it will reveal his vast contributions. Gandhiji inspired and mobilized ordinary people to sacrifice for the nation and led them to a free India. He succeeded in rejuvenating and breathing new life into all the organizations that he was part of. He had organized the most significant mass-scale non-cooperation movements non-violently. 
he involved women in participating in the non-violent civil disobedience movement as equal partners. Throughout his life, he was engaged in establishing communal harmony and inter-religious tolerance. He nursed people during medical emergencies and worked in riot torn areas to create peace and bring harmony, tolerance and understanding. He toured the flood affected and earthquake devastated areas and helped people to rebuild their lives. He served people selflessly, led a life of voluntary poverty and took great care of conserving the environment. He was the first environmentalist and a minimalist. His approach was inclusive, revolutionary, fair, moving towards equality and equity and productively breaking out of the constraints of limitations, conventional thoughts and traditional beliefs. In doing this, he challenged himself continuously while taking his associates and followers along and through his example, setting standards for them to follow. His inclusive approach remained focused with a razor sharp intellect and his positive outlook helped him to reject everything based on untruth, intolerance and violence. He was firmly rooted in the Indian tradition and ethos. He was intensely spiritual, a perfectionist, punctual, prompt, efficient, sincere and a hard working leader. Above all, Gandhiji remained highly successful and grounded in his ethical leadership. The Indian Nobel laureate, poet Rabindranath Tagore had said about Gandhiji, and I quote, occasionally there appear in the area of politics, maker of history, whose mental height is above the common level of humanity. They wield an instrument of power, which is almost physical in its compelling force and often relentless. When Mahatma Gandhi came and opened the path of freedom for India, he had no obvious medium of power in his hands no overwhelming authority of coercion. The influence which emerged from his personality was ineffable, like music and like beauty. It claimed up on others so greatly because of its revelations of a spontaneous self-giving force. His spiritual inspiration comprehend and yet transcends all varied manifestations of humanity and makes the face of worldliness turn to the light that comes from the eternal source of wisdom. Unquote. The greatness of Mahatma Gandhi lies more in his spirituality, in his insistence on the inspired strength of the soul and its life-giving qualities at a time when the devastating force seemed in full force. Mahatma Gandhi had spared no pain in disciplining himself to the utmost possible extent. Experimentation was one of the innermost desires of Gandhi's life. He experimented with food and dietetics, health and nature cure, clothes and attire, politics and economics, education and reforms, revolution, ethics and spirituality, actually with almost everything that his life knew as part of life. With relentless logic and faith, he charted new ground in every direction and yet had the depth of mind to separate defeat from triumph, the dishonest from the real and to integrate all his aims and achievements into the harmony of his personality. Gandhiji's whole life story is about action to bring about definite transformations. He both succeeded and failed in what he sought to do, but he always moved forward and he never gave up the quest for improvement, both social and spiritual, and both for individuals and for the nation as a whole. Today, Gandhiji is remembered not only as a political leader, but as a moralist who appealed to the universal conscience of humankind. He changed the world. And the impact is seen by the world leaders who were inspired by him and have taken a leap from Gandhiji's life and work to fashion their initiatives for ensuring peace, justice and fighting against discrimination. Renowned scientist Dr. Albert Einstein has written about Mahatma Gandhi and I quote, Gandhi is unique in political history. He has invented an entirely new and human technique for the liberation struggle of an oppressed people and carried it out with the greatest energy and devotion. A leader of his people, unsupported by any outward authority, a man of wisdom and humility, who devoted his whole life to uplift his people, he confronted the brutality of Europe with the dignity of a simple human being and has always risen superior. We are fortunate and should be grateful that fate has bestowed upon us so luminous a contemporary, a beacon to the generations to come." Unquote. 
Gandhi ji derived tremendous pleasure from the activities he engaged in, whether it was writing, editing his newspapers, or writing books, spinning on the charkha, engaging in manual labor, walking long distance, imprisonment, and so on. He immensely enjoyed what he was doing. Whatever he did, he was wholly present to the task at hand. In fact, the path became the goal. In Mahatma Gandhi's words, and I quote, satisfaction lies in the effort, not in the attainment. Full effort is full victory, unquote. This is an important quality of the transformational leader. Gandhiji's moral leadership accomplished what they thought to be impossible by many. According to Parallel Nair, Gandhiji's private secretary for a long time, what made Mahatma Gandhi almost unique among leaders of men was his capacity to harmonize widely different points of views so that they become contributory to the examination of the common goal. An outstanding instance of this was the way in which he dealt with his colleagues who differed from him. While holding to his own principle, he allowed his colleagues full scope to serve the country according to their light. Because of this, not only the most intimate relations continued between them, but also those who differed from him ultimately came around and worked under his leadership. The central core of Gandhiji's leadership is meant for all humankind and is valid for all time. Gandhiji wanted all men to be free so that they would grow unhampered into full self-realization. He wanted to abolish the exploitation of man by man in any form because both exploitation and submission to it are a sin against the law of our being. With resilience and resolve, Mahatma Gandhi carried forward the torch of our great nation's guiding philosophy, which has been the underlying message of the Rig Vedic verses, Ekam Sat Vipraha Bahudha Vadanti. Truth is one, but the learned call it by many names. Gandhian humanism and its practical application are the way forward in the crisis-driven world to bring about peace. His noble spirit and warm humane kindness have endeared him to all humanitarians throughout the world. I express my thanks to the Indian Mission for hosting today's talk to observe the UN International Day of Nonviolence. My special thanks are to all of you who have joined me today. Namaskar. <laughs>